All right, part three was uh, flowers in the land. Um, I went ahead and colored that the house and the path on the hill. I don't know what you have drawn on your hill there, but whenever you've got time, you can do that. But first, I'll show you how to color in the flowers. And this is another uh, good basic exercise to practice your shading skills. Um, Let's say you have a flower that looks like that, right? We were drawing that earlier. It's got a circle in the middle and it's got the petals and the leaves. Now a lot of people draw the color of the flowers in with the yellow inside and the petals, but um, why don't we just try, we'll try something else where, no, okay, uh, yes, I'll do that. <laughs> Pretty standard flower. A lot of people like to paint, draw them this way is the yellow and then, um, to practice your shading, pick one color that is the outside of the leaves. I picked pink here, and then let your, your let your hand um, fade it as it approach fade the color as it approaches the middle. So you've got the 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 most saturation, I guess, um, right at the edge, and then let your hand lighten up as it approaches. The center. Do that for every petal. And the, the reason for that is because you're gonna pick a second color. Let's pick blue. Let's pick blue. The second color you pick goes kind of the opposite, where the color is darker in the center and it lightens up as it moves towards the out of the petal outside of the petal so that it blends it fades into the color of the petal this is a, a good way to practice your shading and blending skills um, you can pick any two colors you want to work with if you want to get get wild you can pick a three or four or whatever however many uh, there you go. So, you see that? There's like, there's not a hard edge where the blue turns into the pink. They uh, bleed right into each other. And, um, if you can, as an exercise, do this for more than one flower, if you want. Um, and the centers of the flowers, they don't have to be yellow, so, well, we can go with, I'll go with green and, um, we'll mix it with purple here. That's for the center of this one, and then I'll pick, uh, I'll pick red as the outside color for all the leaves, and, uh, let the colors, uh, kind of practice that shading again, so the outside is... A darker red and then let that lighten up into a lighter red as it approaches the center. So I'll pick um, yellow as the inside color and do the shading exercise again. So that's a second second flower. And Whatever color you want to color the stems and the leaves, if you want to be sort of realistic or traditional, go with green. There's so many different kinds of green. This one's a, like a lime green. This one's like a, so, what do you call it? I don't know, it's a pretty solid grass green. And, um, but, no. But if I want to do red, that's probably fine too. Why not? So that, that flower is going to have red leaves. And go through your the field with however many flowers you want. However flower, many flowers and grass patches and maybe... I, I even added a butterfly here on one of the flowers. Maybe you want to add a butterfly. Or some bugs some other animals. I 
the end, when you feel like you've put all the things in the field that you want, what I did to finish off the fields, because I thought my fields and the hills would be green, I used the darker green for the hill, the mountains in the back, and then I used the same dark green, the same um, crayon, and I just pressed lighter to get the lighter green in the field. So with a single uh, marker, and you can go into the back field here too, a single marker you can get a range of um, saturation and hue. And I'll probably stop the video here because you, this will take a little bit of time. I don't know how much time you want to spend on it. Um, but now you know. Now you know how to draw a certain kind of sky, fade colors for a sky that you want to draw. You, you know how to draw one kind of dog or however kind you want, but we did that together. And uh, put this to put the subject in a center of a composition and then um, improvise on a foreground and draw flowers with shaded petals. So I hope you like these videos. And um, yes, I like hearing from you, so uh, let me know if you have other thoughts or something maybe you want to work on together. Bye, I'll see you next time. <laughs>